everybody and welcome to today's video we're unboxing my ipsy blend bag x it just arrived as you can see i have not broken the sale i am super excited about everything in here i did get to make my choices but in good old-fashioned round of nature i completely forgot the choices i forgot what i picked i forgot everything so my youngest and i were getting ready to run out and she's finishing up school and i was like oh i got time to sit down and unbox this go over it with you all so that's what we're doing today if you are new here hello and welcome my name is rhonda and over here we're all about embracing in the hot mess because it's a judgment free drama free stress free zone where we sit back relax play makeup talk about makeup unbox subscriptions and remember it is in fact only makeup hair care skincare whatever it all washes off it's not that serious we keep it cute or put it on mute let's go ahead and jump on in about the Ipsy X this is a quarterly subscription and the way that they do the Ipsy X's is every time that they have uh, oh rain sidetracked but every time that they have an Ipsy X come out one celebrity or celebrity makeup artist does get to curate with their favorites or items from their brand or what have you. Now, I believe this one is $49.99 and of course plus tax, but that does include shipping. You do get to customize three of the items in the box as well. And for the month of November, Huda Katan? Huda Beauty did do a lot of the curating. Well, she was the celebrity makeup person. When we jump in to the box, we always get a little pamphlet and it does front page, always talks about who it is that curated the box. And again, Huda, yeah, Huda Katan. So I was like, I think. Anyway, sorry, you guys know me. So when you jump over on the inside, it's going to show you a bunch of items that were Huda's picks. And then when you flip it over one more time, it'll have your picks in there, I do believe. All right, so starting off, cause like I said, I don't recall this. I did not pick this. I think this was one that was picked for me. Hmm, let's see here. Why is this not showing up in here? Okay, um, I'm not trying to keep you all here for like a hundred billion hours, but I don't. Oh, here we go. Huda has some more picks over here. So, a little slow. So her pick is the PMD cleansing tool. Now I have this. I did get this from a boxy charm and I absolutely love, love, love this. I have one right now. So this is going to be perfect. I'll put one in my shower. I'll keep one uh, at the sink. Um, moving. Oh, I think I picked this. I think this was definitely a pick. This is by Huda Beauty and this is her purple haze eyeshadow palette. Heck, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about reading what I picked, what I didn't pick. I think I picked this one. Uh, so, there's that. And I can already tell you all, I definitely feel like I already got my $49.99 worth just off these two pop products. Now, I do have a lot of Huda Beauty palettes. And I really, I really love her formula. Look how pretty this is. So it's in like her plastic case, which I like because it does feel a little bit heavier. This is what the palette looks like. And you know me, I love to go to her shimmers. They're like a shifty shimmer. Those are so beautiful. And y'all have been telling me you want to see more makeup looks, me putting on makeup and everything. So I have been trying to be better about coming back when and playing with the makeup that I do get in some of my boxes. All right, so moving on, the next item, is this a full-size product? I keep going back and looking at this, I even though I tell myself I'm not gonna, but here I sit doing it. Okay, you know what? We're letting it go. So this is Cake, Naturally Luxe Beauty Heavy Cream. Uh, it says Shea Butter and Vanilla. Okay, sorry guys. This, this also is including some of my add-on products. I was like, this doesn't make sense. This is a deluxe size sample. Okay, so you're going to see a bunch of my add-ons in here as well. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Obviously, I got to make my choices. 
straight up vanilla cake batter. Heaven on earth. I smell delicious. I want to slather my entire body. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, okay, okay. Anyways, that was a $3 item. Here's some more $3 items I picked. I ended up getting this in PR. This is by Huda Beauty's sister company, like her skincare company, the Mitt Deep Pore Detox Mud Mask by Kinship. Okay, so I absolutely love the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. These were only $3. They ended up selling out when I went back to look for more because I was like, these would make really cute like stocking stuffer gifts. But I did pick up some of those. I also chose some in the add-ons, the IT Cosmetics Brow Pencil. I really, really, really like this pencil. Right now I'm currently using my e.l.f. pencil, which I kind of feel like is a dupe for the IT Cosmetics, but I'm almost out of that one, and this was only $3. I do feel like this one is not as creamy as the e.l.f., but very easy to work with. And I also got, because my youngest likes to use this as well, the KP Bump Eraser by First Aid Beauty. This was only $3. Anywho, I think that is all of my add-ons. So jumping back into what is in my Ipsy X, this is the Clean Rinse Clarifying Scalp Serum by Sunday Riley. It has glycolic acid, salicylic acid, rose clay vitamins, and jasmine. I'm super excited to try this out. I did, ugh, this is gonna sound so bad, considering my channel is about makeup and skincare and hair care and what have you. But I had no idea Sunday Riley came out with something like this. Did y'all know? Did y'all know? I mean, honestly, y'all, I tell y'all, it is so important to exfoliate your scalp, especially, in my opinion, if you're like me and you go days in between your washings and everything, I think it's really important to make sure to take that extra step and remove the excess gunk. So I will definitely be coming back and letting you all know my thoughts on this. I am super excited. I'm trying to push my uh, wash to like one more day. So maybe I'll try it out tomorrow. Next in the box is the charcoal black peel off mask i do believe that i did choose this i'm like 99 percent sure it has gotten so dark and gloomy and it's like it's only like 12 something in the afternoon i feel like this must be expensive maybe it's just the whole black and gold and i would check the price but i threw the paper over there because i didn't want to like kill too much time I'm feeling awkward. Okay, so the next item in here is by Terry, the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. And I think this was my third choice because I had heard when this first released, so many people saying such amazing things about it. So I do believe I did end up picking this. It does say that it's extra smoothing, multi-zone correction, no pores, no lines, invisible matte finish. So I'm excited to try this out. Have you all tried this powder out? It's so funny because I feel like it's so tiny compared to like my Huda Beauty or Hourglass powder sizes. I mean, maybe not, but 10 grams, what do we got here? 20 grams, oh, double, double, okay, for Huda. All right, so it is about half the size, but that's fine. I will definitely be trying this out we have with gratitude dewy lip balm by rare beauty Ooh, this is pretty that is really pretty oh my god look how hydrated my hands look from that little lotion oh i like that a lot i'm like super glossed up right now i kind of went ham with the halani i think it's called lip gloss but i don't care this is a really pretty color it looks like it's, or yeah, it looks like it's going to be super, super moisturizing. I love that. Love lip balms. I feel like with these lip balms, this is where I get really comfortable with the darker shades. You know what I mean? When it's like a sun-kissed type of color. Next in here, we have the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. The best lashes, major volume, dramatic curl, insane length. I think I've heard really good things about this mascara, but I don't think I've ever actually tried it. So that is awesome. And then the last thing in here is by Gold Fadden MD, the Needless Line Smoothing Concentrate. 
It's a smoothing serum and the ultimate non-invasive solution to reduce the appearance of fine lines. So that is nice. All right, friends. So that is everything in my Ipsy X bag. I mean, in all honesty, I am a little sad that there wasn't more Huda Beauty products in here. I mean, I, yes, there was the mascara. Yes, there was this uh i purchased the little sample thing but i honestly expected a little bit more i'm not mad with that, what i received by any means because i love it i mean i already knew this this alone i think is worth 99 dollars, and i love this and so there's one thing i hate and it's taking it from the sink over to the shower i know first world problems but i love the fact that i'm going to be able to put one in my shower keep one at the sink i absolutely love 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 this palette shade and I love the Rare Beauty. I mean, honestly, $49.99 with tax. We're going to, let's just say $53 with tax, Kentucky tax. This is a heck of a deal. Like, this is a good deal. One thing I would love to see, though, if Ipsy is collaborating with a celebrity makeup artist or a celebrity brand, like for Huda, for example, I love Huda's concealers, her foundations, her powders. I would have loved to see the powders in here. So again, my paper's over there, so maybe people were receiving some of her powders. But I love how BoxyCharm does do a complexion shade choice for you know some of their items so i would love to see ipsy do something like that so it kind of makes me wonder if this is going to be like boxy charm that once we see a brand in the box are we going to see it later in our choices and if that's the case like let's have some complexion products in there where you know like the huda foundation the huda concealer because i think that would be amazing and again, I don't know all the choices out there. I don't know everything that, you know, she had picked out for us. But if that's the case, I think that would be awesome. What are y'all's thoughts? Not that I think Ipsy's going to watch this video. But let me know your thoughts on should they have complexion choices available for us when we are making our choice. Okay, y'all. So once I finished filming and everything, I went through the catalog. Looks like these were all of Huda's picks that you may have received. And then when I flipped it over, these were some of the other products that you could have received. So her concealer was actually a possibility so some of y'all may have received the concealer so that's pretty awesome i have that and i actually do like it uh i would hope to see this maybe in the future like i said i'd love to get to choose the foundation but anywho that was some of her picks and then when i opened this up these were picks that we could have chosen so let me know what was in your Ipsy X Glam bag. Okay, seriously, this is amazing. Not only does it smell delicious and divine, but this cake naturally luxe beauty, the hydration is unreal. That is all for today's video. I definitely feel like I got my money's worth. I do believe Haley is also getting an Ipsy X this month. It's not in yet. Hopefully we'll be able to sit down and do Ipsy versus Ipsy, mother versus daughter. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to check me out on my second channel, Hot Miss Mama Vlogs for plus size curvy girl fashion hauls over there. And until next time, friends, I'll catch you in the next video. This is from Kentucky. Mwah! Bye!